shall bring the meeting to order. Weekly Finance Committee and Select Boards. Uh, tonight we have um, on our agenda, we have the uh, cultural recreation services, we have public health, and we have some unclassified uh, issues to go over. Um, a few additional funding requests for 2019, and France here, which is really good. Uh, hey, Fran. How are you doing? I got it good. So, um, oh, first stop. I don't know. They're right in the right there behind the agenda. There you go. There you go. Just yeah, you're uh, you're you're first up, so um I'm gonna make a motion we accept the notice of that one. Second. All those in favor? Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Alright, so first on the uh, first come, first serve. Before Fran jumps in, Brian, is there anything that you wanted to throw in here? Not at this point, no. Okay. Um, Fran, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your world? <laughs> oh boy. And how we world can... or you want the budget? <laughs> well, the budget. I guess we'll go with that. Budget will, yeah, whatever. Okay. Board of Health. Start with the Board of Health. Um, not much change. Yep. Keep the level under for now. Uh, I think we put in some more money for supply and uh, advertising the meeting. Planning to do a uh, community meeting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're planning to hold a community meeting, maybe a couple to talk about uh, aging in place options. Okay. So. How come you looking at me the same? <laughs> aging. You look for the gray hair, it's right away. Am I aging in place? <laughs> yeah, you're you're right somewhere. Right across from me. You got to age you're somewhere. Moving. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So, okay. Um, next is, you done with that one? Yeah. The next one is uh, Foothills. And it did go up some, as you can see. Um, we are part of a small town health district. We saved the chunk of money. Yep. This town enables us to do all of the required Board of Health um, duties in protecting water, air, food, you name it. And every year it gets more. So, we felt it's pretty constant. In fact, we felt the budget below previous years. Except this year, we had uh, higher an agent that full time. In the past year, you know, it said this last year, we had we lost the health agent, and then we sort of had two part timers, and now we're back to 100 full time person. So that's really what this is about. That's where that increase is coming from. Yeah. And you feel good about that? Very good. Yeah. Is it going to be easier to get a hold of somebody now? Or? It should be. Not same gonna, number. Not same Nobody number. Can call. Nobody ever answers the phone. And, no, uh, you leave a message and they don't call back. They don't call back? No. Email. Really? Anybody, uh, don't call back. Well, you should. They don't call back, let me know. All right. We're going to serve them out of time. They may be aware. And last year, like I said, it was due to a lot of part-time. Yeah. Two part-time. Right. So, questions about that budget? It's good to me. Anybody else? No. Okay. Okay. Solid waste. Yep. A lot of this stuff, most of it's beyond our control. The law cost went up. The tip fee went up. And we only have a one-year extension. <coughs> We can get this to get a contract because maybe you know this. Two of the last remaining landfills in Western Mass are gone. Will be gone by really? July. So all costs probably going to go up after this. And 
so my tip fees. So, and this past year, I based this on past calendar years numbers that we take, that we generate in terms of trash. And last year we generated more trash than ever before. A little bit same in recycling, but every ton of trash costs the town money. I thought we were every doing ton of recycling, we get money back. Yeah. So our goal is to... Has recycling gone up along with uh, trash uh, increase? As a portion of the total? Yeah. No, because <coughs> the trash went up so much. All the trash. How come? Yeah. Good question. Either Not people so know. don't know whether people are moving in or out. Seems like a lot of it moving in and out. A lot of bigger stuff come in last year. Mm -hmm. I think it might be an anomaly, but um, we're keeping closer track of it this year. So, we'll Do see. you have any, any concerns about the recycling market or anything, especially what's going on over in China? Big concern. Uh, it's on the horizon. Don't know what's going to happen. We're lucky because we're part of the MRF. MRF is the state-sponsored materials recovery facility in Springfield. And because we joined early, one of the earlier towns, and most towns in Western Mass are part of this in cities. We have a dual waste stream. So our waste stream is, um, I mean, uh, source separated in two sources, paper and can bottles and cans. So we get more money back at this point. Our recyclables are valued higher than, let's say, Springfield that has um, single screens. Like even you mass the single screen, which is, anyway, with China opting to buy less recycled material, biggest market, yeah. prices have gone down. The money we get per ton for recycled material from the MRF has gone down correspondingly. But we're not paying anything yet. So might get to your question at some point, if China says no more anything, we're still probably be able to get rid of our recycling. Well, I think you're, you probably have a, a domestic market. A little bit, yeah, yeah and it will increase if that happens, but it's hard to say. <coughs> at least our waste, our recycling waste stream is, is clean mm -hmm. and it has a higher market value. Right, right. Single, single stream just basically was about people being really lazy and just not wanting to separate. <laughs> Because so, when I heard that China wasn't even taking plastic bags, I said, no, wait, now we have a problem. Hey, that's why we have propellant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're one of the few communities that has plastic bag recycling. Like, we didn't, I would suggest we would just stop uh, allowing plastic like, single use plastic bags. Yeah. And a lot of communities are doing that, but we have a good deal with Propel. We've worked out an arrangement where we, we can take plastic bags that don't have any that are dry, clean, no, and don't have any stickers on them. And they'll take almost anything. So, so still a small proportion, relatively small proportion. Yeah. So, good question. Who knows? That's probably why it's a one year comp extension. <laughs> yeah. And that. So that's part of the shifting um, picture with recycling and trash. So um, with the increase in trash and the seemingly stagnant recycling, um, <clears throat> what's the best way to get that word out to the residents of the town? Um, well, we could start charging them more. We don't want to drive people away. That's away. a message. It's a message. We at the transfer station are trying to educate people on it, although we've been doing this forever. Mm -hmm in the scoop and other places, just like, well, I haven't explained it like I just did to you guys, but yeah. at some point we'll say, hey, you know, your trash is, is gonna, fee is gonna go up. It's gonna go up for everybody, whether you have curbside service, barrel service, or anything, right? There won't be any place to take close by. So, it's smarter that people start separating out the recyclables compost, anything you can get out of the trash mm -hmm. is good. And right now, it brings us money. Right. What happens when the landfill is closed? <laughs> Your guess is good money. They'll probably put it on a train, haul it someplace. Okay, but what's it going to do with the budget? doing that. What's it going to do with the budget? It's going to do with the budget? Pull it out of the water. 
this reflects already some of that. So I don't know what's going to happen, but when all that land gradual, fills, you see gradual or spike straight up. Is, there might be a spike, but we don't know yet. And there'll still be places to take it. There's a burner, trash burner in Springfield that are pretty much capacity. So it's one in Pitzer and Dalton. Well, if it, you know, and, and I think all we're all, I mean, we, we, you know, and I'm not here to answer the, the question about what we do with trash recycling and all that, but yeah. with that being said, there are, I mean, incineration is the way that there's, there's high efficiency incineration that, you know, that, that's going to be the answer because it's, it's going to be cost prohibitive to be shipping it, it a long places. places. Yeah. So it's now they've got this problem, by the way. And yeah. often right. they want the trash like a single stream. They don't want they need the burnable stuff like yep. paper. Yeah, so they need so, paper that we're recycling. Yeah. yeah. But and they don't they wouldn't want composting or anything like that, but compostable mm -hmm. stuff. Well you're gonna you're gonna find that I think people are gonna start turning a deaf ear to some of these EPA issues that are gonna go along with it because it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be cost prohibitive yeah. to be shipping well, trash. Well we stop generating as much. <laughs> that's that's probably so, the, uh, the other end of this. It wasn't that long ago when Waitley stood out as being one of the preeminent um, towns. We're still number one or two there yep. in terms of recycling. Wow. But it's still a, it's going to be an issue for all the towns, no matter what happens. You, nobody's up at 80% or something like that. The goal would be to get to somewhere above 50%. Hard, hard to go, hard to get to. I mean, we're, we're charging $2 a bag, and it's been $2 a bag for a long time. It's, it's, so that may be. Really. If our costs go up, we're going to have to do something. Yeah. Like that. We have um, instituted a sticker um, service also. So for people that bring in contractor bags worth of trash, we're not letting them in for two dollars, but for with a three dollar sticker. sticker, and that'll go for a larger items too. So big mounds of styrofoam packaging mm -hmm. comes with a you know refrigerator or something like that that's just light but bulky. We're going to charge that. Too. Yeah. So at some point we'll contemplate the three dollar. So um, you don't you just have a sticker. You don't have a bag. No, we have both right now. So we're kind of transitioning. We might go with all stickers at some point. What about going with all bags? It's all bags, no. Bags, right. bags are expensive. Right. And, and, and hey, if somebody bags. brings well, in a bag, well, though, you shouldn't pay for the bags. Well, you know, <laughs> gotta pay for bags. Right. right. And the user pays for the bags. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why you should buy your own if you're going contract it, right? Yeah. I'm saying if you get a contract bag that's this big, and you got a guy that's coming in with a bag this big, right. where's the yeah. equity? You have one bag that's the same size all the time. That's the same. That's the price of the bag. That's, that's right. where you get rid of it. So you get rid of the guy who's getting this bag like this. Yeah. You're paying three dollars, and the guy that's got the the, the t-shirt bag that's putting a sticker <laughs> on it for yeah. two dollars. You know. That's right. Yeah. Well, bag, like if that. we go to all the stickers, it would be some kind of grading radiation like that. But you're right. So um, we've been pretty lenient about contractor bags to up to date. But I think. <laughs> the, the theory is if you you know if you only charge the guy three bucks for his contractor bag he's going to put it in the dumpster if you charge him five bucks it's going to be on the side of westbrook road or well you know, yeah. i'll tell you if it starts putting his, his envelopes and his, his i know like i know yeah. and you, yeah. you find start rolling those slices you know yeah. that's gonna, yeah. yeah well there is you know they have an alternative they could get a trash and get a dumpster service. Yeah. Burning in the back. Yeah. Whose prices are way more than what we charge back. Right. Yeah. Or you know, barrel service. So but the grand scheme of things is pretty affordable. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. To get rid of it's, it's relative. And then some people have like you said, dumpsters. They don't recycle. Everything goes into this dumpster, right. which is illegal actually. We have a bylaw that says you gotta recycle. You gotta recycle. We haven't really enforced on those haulers that they have to provide a recycling service as well, bundled. So it's not just here's your dumpster. Mm -hmm. later. Say, so, would you think at uh, on town Tom floor is this one <laughs> on town floor you'd either be willing to or at least 
have an overview of the state of the issue right now in this town to 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 bring that to put a spotlight on it so so to speak yeah, um, on that particular issue well dumpsters? just you know the, the whole dumpster thing i mean i mean yeah. the whole recycling the whole uh well i think all know, the towns are going to start clamping down on that because there's too many dumpster bins out there where there's no recycling going on yeah so foothills health district as a whole is taking this up too so we're going to we already have that in place in Whaley, but it's not been enforced. It's not enforced. So yeah. at some point we're going to just say, okay, to get your permit, your hauler permit for the town, you've got to show us every household that has that has also recycling service. And they can do that. Yep. It's not hard. So. Yeah. It looks like a free chance for communication if you can take five minutes or ten minutes at town meeting to yeah. let people know these prices are going up. It's, yeah, that's sort of it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. then, uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. That's a persuasive disposal budget. The level funded. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much stays, stays the same. I don't think we use it all this year. Mm -hmm. And then from Council Saw, we mentioned that this rate is just up a tiny bit. Yeah. No, they they sub they submitted as a separate. separate now, what's that all about? We hazardous belong. Waste? Hazardous waste, mercury thermometers. No, no I understand the hazardous paint, waste. Solid waste. Franklin County Solid Waste Management District. Oh yeah, that's is that a budget? Yeah, yep. that's uh, we're assessed. An assessment. We're members of the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District. What does it get us? Uh, bulky waste days. Cheap. We're paying for bulky waste days. There's a line item in here for it. There is, but it would be a hell of a lot more. <laughs> we would not be able to get rid of the items if we did it for the same year. Well, is it just for Waitley? Waitley? Our bulky waste is it just for Waitley? Yeah. Bulky waste is for we, we did bulky waste days um, just Waitley. But we couldn't get tires, we couldn't get, um, we, nobody would pick up that small a bunch of tires, nor would they pick up electronics that small. A lot of items you couldn't get in, but when you have it bundled in the district, they'll come around because they got three different sites. Wait, okay, so is everybody holding one of these? What? Is everybody holding one of these bulk waste space? No, no, no. So that's three. Three. Well, that's what, that, I guess that's what Tommy's asking right now. Yeah, yeah well, he, did, he got the answer to that because <coughs> What we have, I, I I know what you're saying. There's a line item. Uh, we have a bulk yeah. waste day that you have to pay out of your pocket to yeah. get rid of things. Yeah. And then we also have Franklin County solid waste on top of that. So so how those divide up is pretty much what he said that yeah. you can't unload some of these hazardous items such right. as tires and electronics on the days that we have here because. Because we don't did, we don't just enough. isn't enough of it, and we don't have room to have a dumpster, another dumpster in there. Story right. to have an ongoing thing. That's why we do these public dumpsters. There's just no room at the transfer station, even if we wanted to. They keep a set of dumpsters like that, mm -hmm. dedicated to something like that. Right. Or something like that. So, actually, I don't think there is any. Is there a Why not? Yeah. It must be just salaries or something. I don't know. It's only like. No, it's, it's all in the mix. Bulky day. It was 140, now it's 580. It bulked up. Yeah. Uh, second line up from the very bottom. It is the very last solid line. Waste. Yeah, it's solid yeah, waste budget. Solid waste budget. Solid waste budget. Town Post and Swap. Yeah. Then Bulky day. Oh, okay. Well, um, that's, what's the amount in there? 580. That's for fluorescence, actually. That's the what? For fluorescence. Yeah. For light bulbs. Fluorescent light bulbs. For light bulbs? Yeah. Not bulky day. Not bulky day. I think that <coughs> must be an well, earlier copy. Yeah. So Why uh, um, which don't people pay as, pay as you throw the fluorescence? No, we're, we're letting them, because they're hazardous, Oh. We're letting people, this is sort of 
bit of a subsidy. They're subsidizing fluorescents. Not all, most of them are free, but bigger ones that cost like uh, 50 cents or a buck. So we let people bring them for free, just so they'll bring them there. And at the end of the year, you get a pick up and they get the spill from the bank account. Cost to get rid of another yeah. item that it costs to get rid of. Right? And they have mercury, or they have the ballasts. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the cost there. So Franklin the County Solid Waste is just uh, yeah. is the assessment that we could charge based on some formula population and then evaluation. That's just like when you join uh, the COP. They charge for that. Bulky well, Day is one of the services. All these other ones, like getting for rid of fluorescence, getting uh, um, the inspection, that's what we're doing there. But they do that, and they do it cheaper than anybody else. So um, it's a small price to pay, I think, to be able to be part of a larger entity, which allows us to get grants. So the compactor grant last year. That comes out of that. $7,500 mm -hmm. to the district. Mm -hmm. We wrote it, but they helped write it. That got us the contract. Yep. Things like that. So it makes more sense. They can pull all the resources. They can write the grant. <coughs> Things like that contractor grant come around once in a while, so we jump on it. Yep. They just, and they help us. So bulky day, day is only fluorescence. Can we just change that to fluorescence? So it's not so confusing going forward. I don't know. Is that more than copy? But is it more than just fluorescence? It's you take uh, mercury. Yeah, that's got mercury in it, like thermostats, smoke alarms. No, that's hazardous waste. They won't touch those there. No, they take that to station. Yeah, they'll we'll change it. Yeah. And, and batteries. Where do you just I doubt it. batteries and all that go? Yeah, there's no there's no bulky way. Yeah, for some reason that did, didn't change over, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that should not be bulky day. Okay. Bulky day is all. Bulky day, by the way, is all volunteer on our end. Except yeah, for we, Franklin County, pays the staff time. So we get a highway department person to help out on that day, half a day. Yep. And they pay for that. Um, so it's uh, kind of a win-win pay for that. We need the guys, but everybody that works on the Waitley Bulky Day is a volunteer, including me, some of the solid waste committee people, and I put in a call always for volunteers. So mm -hmm. everyone's a volunteer. It's comforting. There are a lot of treasures that show up. Bulky Waste Day. Oh, not so sure. We go fast. So last year it was a whole. Living room full of leather furniture, room rug, Regina scrubs on. So, you know, and we give those to the people who help out. I see myself with some other work. Regina's a treasure, I'll tell you. Keep her as long as you can. Are we at the end of the rope? Yeah. I think it's about it. Um, I'll change that. Okay, well, thanks. But I, you know, I, I would really uh, encourage you to say something. Uh, have, I mean, have some time at the town, on town floor, uh, I mean, sure. to raise the awareness of what's yeah. happening. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Nobody is more reliable than Fran in getting something into the school. Pretty much every issue, <coughs> if we ever right. uses that for communication, yeah, and then. Yeah. But we may be sending a mailing up things are really bad and we need to say stop. Where do you think the demographic break is, people that recycle or don't? Uh, older people set in their ways tend not to want to recycle. Really? <laughs> really? Uh, not everybody. Yeah. Some just that's called aging in place. You yeah. <laughs> don't want to move to recycle. I'm surprised, <laughs> isn't it? Really? I would say most of the young people and newcomers in town, we try to give them yeah. a little bit, yeah. which we, you know, we purchase for cheap and we can move away. 
to encourage recycling. Um, How about a Friday night robocall from Lynn? Oh my God! <laughs> right at dinner time. Too. Yeah. Hello, you trash. Yeah. Hello, you lazy trash. I don't want to abuse that. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't hey, irritate it, that. It's an emergency. Yeah. 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 Like it was going to be closed during a snowstorm or something one time. Like that. Yeah. Which uh, yeah. we have, I think, the first. One. So um, we got to get. You know, you got to encourage people. You, at well, you got town meeting. It's not just. <clears throat> At town meeting, you've got to say, hey, listen, you know, this is on the verge of getting out of hand. We've got to recycle more. Yeah, no, nobody cares. Too, and yeah, people don't job. care anymore. Well, well, when I, it gets them in a pocketbook, it'll I will, I will just speak oh, yeah. for, for myself. I'm, I'm responsible yeah. at my, you know, where I work mm. for trash recycling. I negotiate the contracts, all, all that stuff. So you know that. So I, I, I know a bit about it. And I will tell you, education is the number one thing for yeah. it. And I will admit that we are a single stream recycler at Williston, which is the worst Where? at Williston, at uh, the school. And so it really, I'll admit, it's a lazy way to recycle. And so they started to try to pass on this, this recycling, recyclable over, overage charge, which basically, mm. if, our trash was going in, going to China, or our recycling was going to China. Well, we negotiated a contract. We don't actually pay it, mm -hmm. but they're charging people now to get rid of their recyclables. Mm -hmm. But before, it was the cheapest way to get rid of any sort of trash. Mm -hmm. In five years, recycling is going to be more expensive to get rid of than, than trashes. So mm -hmm. where's the incentive to recycle other than the fact that it's the right thing to do? Right, yeah. So I right. think education yeah. is... And, and I, I will, people ask me all the time now because they came down and, and waste management is our is our trash hauler. Yeah, I don't know what's recyclable and what's not anymore. Right. When they ever told me that we could not recycle plastic bags mm -hmm. because I came from a plastic background, manufacturing background, yeah. and when they told me that the stamps of, of the two and the four and all this stuff mm -hmm. does not designate anything, you cannot re recycle that blew my mind so now yeah. it, it's you know they will not there's so much that they will not take now and so I, i'm i'm at a loss we still have another three years to go on this contract mm -hmm. and it, it is very difficult but i would say the way that we are set up right now with alternating weeks of this and that is the right way to go yeah. um and we i think we're going to be we're in a solid position um yeah that way because I do believe from what I understand there is domestic market for a lot of our stuff because you know there was 10,000 the, the, the number I came up with what I heard was 10,000 containers a day piling up on the docks yep. that are supposed to be shipping to China that are just sitting there now so just imagine that of recycled of material. recycled material, which is yeah. just trash, single stream, which yeah. is just trash. Yeah, which is mostly trash. It is just trash being thrown together. And yeah. so where does where is that now going? Yeah. They and sort of pay people to sort it. And in China, they weren't. They were you know whatever labor costs were and all that. Yeah. And now they have so much that it's just it's not worth it yeah. for them anymore even with their labor costs they had. So I would say from my perspective, I would say that education is the number one thing to do to get this headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're right. It used to be easy, and it was pretty easy to mm -hmm. let people know, okay, recycling is smart, we yeah. get some money back. And, yeah. Um, you know, you're saving money, the town is saving Exactly. Um, exactly. That's pretty straightforward. But you know, Waitley, if you look at Waitley's tiny little site, we get rid of uh, so many streams of waste right there from clothing to things to swap shed, Compost. plastic bags, plastic bags, returnable right. bottles and cans. Mm -hmm. It goes to a uh, charity. And um, bottles and cans, paper and cardboard, compost. You got a lot of stuff going out that are yeah. is not going in the trash. So and that's been pretty easy to set up. The education is a piece. Uh, very good. Yeah. Okay, friend. Thank you, friend. Thank, Thank you friend. very much. Friend. We heard it loud and clear. <laughs> okay. Next up. <laughs> um, next, we have. Uh, Is she in the kitchen? Right?
person from the section to show up tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All the people had surgery. You just yeah. caught me on my way through. <laughs> oh, you're prepared then. You I'm not prepared at all. I was at another meeting. All right, so tell us a little bit about the cemetery commission and um, are we getting our money's worth? I hope so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, don't let you know. Right. <laughs> Nobody complains. <laughs> I don't know what we're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the same from last year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's covering our salaries. We got a salary increase the year before, so it helps to cover that. Uh, and it's the, uh, the funds are giving us like enough room and leeway to be able to do more than just basically get the mode every few weeks. It's allowing us to be able to take care of some of the, the overgrowth and the in the uh, cemeteries and keep up the fencing and stuff like that. Okay. Is an increase in the number of hours? Is that what you're saying? There's been a little bit of an increase, yeah. Well, that's what we asked for the increase for last year, but there was also an increase in pay last year. Uh -huh. So it, you know, ended right. up kind of balancing out. Okay. I didn't fall my sword, it was my mistake. I had a calculation error. So. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so okay. yeah, we so asked part of this so is that last year's increase. That, that was yeah. last year's increase. Yeah. Flat from. Oh. But so the, the 18 percent increase that it says here is not true. It says there's an 18 percent increase in commissioner salaries. Yes, that was last year. Yeah. So this okay, so you. That tells me. Yeah. yeah. This thing. That. Oh. Okay. And note needs to be up a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> with your name. With your, with your name on it. Right. Okay. All right. Under, so basically, these should read zero over here. Mm. Yes. The, the no. percentage change. Yeah. But that, but that, yeah. yeah. Those two, the last two columns should just yeah. read zero. Okay. Yeah. And it's been a shift over the past couple of years from having something to the maintenance to. Right. Okay. There's been a shift over the past couple of years of, of not not hiring someone else to do the maintenance, but you guys taking on the maintenance, right? And that's the shift to the more salary. Well, I mean, it wouldn't make any difference if I was doing it or someone else was doing it. Right. The, the hours are needed to, to mow the lawns. Yeah. Um, but the, the increase in, time, in, in budget that I asked for last year was to allow, we basically come toward the end of the season, or we're, we're coming toward the end of the season and running out of money to maintain the lawns and that didn't leave us any extra funds to do things like take care of the fencing or any sort of overgrowth or, you know, pick up. So how are we doing with the mowers and everything? I mean, maintenance-wise with all that stuff or? They, the mowers are tricky because uh, they take a beating for all the lawns that we have and we can only use a small mower. Yeah. So um, I think we asked 
we have asked for the last couple of years for some money yeah, to be some, set some aside. Capital. Yeah, just in case. How much is that? Six thousand. They're they're it's a lot fine. Of mowers. Hmm? It's not a walk behind. It's a ride. Right. Now they're riding mowers. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're fine right now, but you know, like, I'm just asking for that to be set aside in the future, because like, their transmissions go. Yeah. And it's still just you and Paul. Uh, Elizabeth Conless oh. is also on the commission as well. Good. Not you. No, you. No, no, no. Your partner. <laughs> yeah. So we have one more person on. She's she's picking up the ropes and Good. picking things up. Yeah. All right. All righty. Any any questions? Any further questions uh, concerning the cemetery commission? For anybody? Not for me. Okay. Um, Thanks for coming back in. Good. Thank you for stopping by. No and problem. Giving us an opening. Okay. Yeah, I can send you Fine. Right. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, Jonathan obviously will not be here to talk about the recreation side of things. Yeah. You know, uh, but he's having having a new hip put in. Oh. So, uh, can't do two things. Anything else, Brian? That um, is there anything of note regarding that um, recreation commission? I don't. I don't really think so. No. I know Jonathan told me that everything's going to be used. That they definitely need this money for improvements at Burley E and the fields. Yeah, so who's doing that? I've done a little bit of research myself. Who's doing that? That's work? a good question. Because uh, it hasn't been done in the last three years. And so I'm just yeah. been budgeting it, and I don't know who's, who's doing it. So I don't know. Either. Um, it's probably a, I, I, I had a look at it here, but I think, wasn't it around $6,000? Yeah, $6,000 for Hurley E Park. I don't know yeah. what that is. Right. And the question we always ask every year is right. that we have outside organizations coming in, Frontier Regional included in that, and that are using our fields, and uh, what are we getting for that? Well, it's, that brings up another question. There's a revolving fund that goes along with this, right, Brian? Yeah. And do we know what that is and how that's been going? Um, it's around 20000 that had to do with uniforms I have, and I have a lot. Yeah, that's, that's one of the, like, okay, money in, money it goes out. up, it comes yeah. down, it goes up, it comes down. That's my recollection of it, but I yeah. wrong. Um, I, I, and the question I always have is we have men's groups, not youth groups. Men's groups. Using, we have men's groups that are coming in right. using our big ball field down there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what kind of revenue we're generating from that. And is that is that revenue being rolled back into the maintenance of the fields? Well, I have question. that question every probably not every year, and I, I and then I see six thousand dollars on you know asking for it to, uh, to look at that and to you know again I'm going to say yeah the field is used by Frontier and adult groups daily. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I support all the youth stuff and the, the other fields and everything, but um, that's the part that I just have a big question about. Who else was with Jonathan on that recreation side of things? I don't know. It's not in my head. He's got four or five people on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Committee of some sort. Right. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, I but, but you know, the, the select board has never looked at also the use of the field and the fees and charges and all that. I guess maybe that's something Brian and the select board should look at as well. Well, I, a, I assume he, he knows the answer to that. But um, we have never asked those questions. In, yeah. the, in the three years or, I've been on, never, never looked and never saw what the policy is <clears throat> for the use of the field. Now, maybe it's online and there's a site you can click on and see Probably, and yeah. register, but 
uh, nobody's ever looked at the fees they're charging, what they're being used for. I think, there's there. some, I think there is something is there for there? like the pavilion yeah, and everything, yeah. but I don't know. I think it's a, it's a sliding scale for right. the baseball field. But, uh, but I think that should be more than just rec commission deciding. It's a, it's a, it's a town building, town facility, the town should decide, not just rec commission. I mean, they can propose it, but I think that the town has a role in deciding. Mm -hmm. They're not listed as a separate committee. Tritown Beach is listed, but Recreation Committee is not listed on our website under committees. They're not. Huh? So I can't tell you who's on it. I thought they were not. It's a secret. <laughs> is it under the department? Mostly. Is that under, 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 under all the... I'm under board. We're clandestine. So what are we talking? What's the question here? What are we talking about? You're, we're, let's get back to where we were. So where we were. Well, we, we don't have. We're talking about recreation. We don't, we don't have any answers to. And there's they're they're asking for again. Uh, I'm assuming it's well. I know it is. It's it's building maintenance. So well, you don't have any answers. Really can't do anything. So we're compiling questions. Right. Okay. So I just don't. I just don't want this to go into. You know, we just somebody okay. couldn't show up. A vape so let's. It's yeah. okay. Right. So we're compiling some questions so that Ryan can. So that when Jonathan is up to it, or someone from the rec commission is up to it, they can have answers for us for next week. Right. The question. Okay. Yeah. It it is actually there. I I, I access it a different way. Write that down. Doesn't tell you who's An amazing number of people of whose Not names end with it. SKI. Yeah. It's There's about the fees and Chris Rasky, Carol yeah. Bukowski, yeah. and Thomas Sadowski, but Andrew Mihalik, John Edwards, Wesley Smith, uh, Meg Ashman, and Megan Wetzel. So there are a, a number of people there yeah. just as members. John's listed as the chair. I know Wes Smith. I think we're just gonna have to. I just yeah, uh, yeah, we have to reach out and we'll get money. We'll get answers about these monies for next week. Moving on. Okay. Um, last but not least, we have public health. Oh no, we did that. No, we did that. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for this. Um, recreation, cultural, library, unclassified, library, unclassified, unclassified. library. This year, last week. That's right. Please uh, go. Try Tom Beach, we're just going to skip over. No, I don't know why we should. I don't know why Try Tom Beach isn't part of the recreation. Well, it's, it's the well I, I mean, I think we, we, we end up having this, this discussion. It's another one. Town. Somebody from Deerfield runs it, and we, yeah. you know, yeah. um, we just bow down. And I don't have any problem with how it's, this is, but you don't have any idea how the revenue is broken up. No, we don't. And we've asked for it. Uh, and I mean, I don't know how you can support anything that you don't know the, how the revenue is broken up. We could be paying 70% for the use. And the, From yeah. what I understand, the fees that come in on a daily basis, uh, the receipts are in cigar boxes underneath. Oh, that's, what I, that's how I would understand it. Me, myself. That's, that's, not that's what I understand. <laughs> so. But doesn't the annual town report show what they do with their funds and all? No, 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 it you doesn't. Got a, you get a report every year for them for the publication, do you? Janet, do you remember what they show in there? No. This, I mean, that's my first time going. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Is it really true that in 2016 and 2017 they expended zero? That's right. right. No, it's, it's part of their bookkeeping has never been kept up. Um, so they, they don't report back what we are talking about that last year. Oh, okay. So we need to copy the general ledger. From well, you should have a idea of what's going on. We should. Good luck. Yeah, we're having the same problem last year. I, I do believe we had the same issue last year. Yeah, we should get more. Yeah, that's the same question. So again, we would like to know what the revolving fund is. Um, Alrighty. I got something here that says library budget FY19 final. Have we done that? She came out. She came in. Yeah, she came in. And we that we got on. South County Senior Center. Um, the individual is probably not going to come in because there's. She's not. Uh, 
he's leaving. So there's a transition in yeah. that. Um, so what do you think will happen there? Where? Senior so center. Senior center. Yeah. I think more seniors will go. They become yeah, I, I do think more will go, but I, I want to know where this, I'm going to bet this budget gets bigger. I think it will too. And Between you know, now and when? I'm going to guess they're going to ask for more before what, what we got here. When? Before the, they're done here. Yes. I don't, I don't think they have a the direction on church. And I think they're, I think they're, they're going to get one. Right in here where they're going to drop that here. <clears throat> well, it's, it better, it better, it better get dropped drop before the, the warrant's written. <coughs> Because if not, if they're going to hire a new person, and the new person is going to want more money than they got. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Among yeah. other things, yeah. For hiring that person for more money, well, they're well, they're running out of time. So we're not going to recommend putting more money in the no. budget. That's we're not going to do that. They'll have to come looking for it. Yeah, be mine. So, yeah. so we're just going to deal deal with that number for for now. Plus things to change. Yeah. Brian, is that, is that good? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Veterans budget. All right. Went up less than one percent, point seven nine. Uh, local council on aging. That's the weekly. No increase. Zero. Would so you like? Board of Health, we did. Board of Health's done. Board of Health, so we, we did all of that. So Franklin County Regional Government Purchasing Budget. Um, Whatever that is. Council of the Government sets usually. Uh, That's part of the FERCOG. The FERCOG and Lynn yeah. usually gives us a little overview on that. If the, any major changes or but apparently two point one more that's, that's not the case. I think we're fine. Physicals and tests budget? That should be in the highway department budget. Yeah, there's a reason it's not that we, we brought that up to Keith before and for some reason it went down twenty five percent, so yeah. You know, if, you get hired by the fire department. You got to be have a physical and a test. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's probably why. That's the reason. Um, town vehicles fuel. They say that's something. How does that happen? Because the price of fuel is so not fuel. That's that. that. no. All right. Educational incentive budget. Is that is that for the policing? No, that's for the town clerk. Town clerk. It's not the coin bill. It's not, no, not, not the coin bill. Yeah, same idea. Is it temporary loan interest? So there's, budget? Only, there's only one person that's that's. So is that eligible for that? That's specific to town clerks in Massachusetts. Is, is that a matching? To continue we get? Say it is. No. It's a lot less than the coin bill. Yeah, coin yeah. bill is like six grand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Temporary loan interest went down 50%. Perfect. Reserve fund budget. No, it's the same, 20000 Okay. I think we should make them wait through all of this. Why right not? Well, because we're good people. Um, well, you are. We, uh, you are. We're all the same town, so to speak. Okay. You know? Okay. Um, yeah, I know. But, but I have good water. It's I have good water, too, but I don't have um, water. 
Okay, Brian, what's is, is this one of these last minute um, need to hear? I don't I don't know that we're prepared to ask for money. So let me back up for a second. Okay. The water merger committee has been meeting as representatives of the um, water commissioners um, in the water district. There's a finance committee rep, and I'm right there, select board rep, and we're trying to figure out. Um, fire crew. What's that? The fire department is there. He's not technically on it, no. he just comes. Oh, <laughs> cool. Good. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and they're trying to figure out, um, Wayne's been figuring out um, the cost, he didn't work with the engineer, so the cost for the, for the pump house that will be required and for the, for the piping and all that, that goes with that. And they're pretty close to final cost, so we're trying to figure out um, how to pay for it. And we've been having discussions back and forth, some, some better than others. Um, but. What the water commissioners, what's important to the water commissioners in Wayne, correct me if I'm wrong, is that is that all new hookups be charged a five thousand dollar hookup fee as a as the basis for um, really any sort of mm -hmm. moving forward. Um, we've been having discussions about about what if any credits could be given for the assets of the water district. Um, cash is an obvious one. We don't really care if 39 different people give us $1,000 each or somebody writes us a $39,000 check and we credit them $1,000 off their hookup fee, in my opinion. Um, that's kind of an easy one. The, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, the water district has land, the wells are on, and I think that that land has some value. So we've kind of been discussing the concept of whether there'd be uh, some credit given for the land that would be transferred to the town. There was discussions about whether the water district should sell the land first, or is there more value to the, um, to the town to keep the land um, and sit on six acres, knowing that the town has the ability to lay out roads and create frontage that the property doesn't otherwise have currently. So if the district were to sell it, it would be as, um, it's not landlocked, but it has easement access, but other than that, it's not landlocked. It's virtually landlocked, yeah. um, so it really wouldn't be worth that much if they could sell it at all. Um, and there was talk about um, some credit for equipment, and in this case it would be the water meters that the, that the $5,000 hookup fee would otherwise pay for for any new customers that come on. Um, there's a, there's a retrofit kit or something that would have to be, have to be bought, but it, it's less than actually the town having to go and purchase the entire <coughs> That's kind of the framework that we're trying to work under. Um, we talked a little bit about um, fire protection and, and what that would look like. There was a original request to have 20, uh, thousand something million gallons per minute. I know it's not millions, but two thousand gallons per minute. You know, going up two sides of the street and. We'd be blowing off, blowing plumbing out of people's houses, and yeah. um, we decided against that. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like that idea. Nobody liked that idea. Um, so I think the plan now is to try to move forward with a thousand yeah. gallon per minute fire pump and two domestic pumps that rotate and cycle on and off. Um, and the cost for that was roughly three. Probably around three dollars. Just kidding. Three hundred thousand dollars. Um, so uh, we're still talking about that. You know, we, we ran up short on time for this the same town meeting. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things you know that we still have to talk about. Um, take votes on. So I don't know that it's the, the the best time to try to present something. Um, Is it feasible that this could ever? really happen by town by the time the warrant needs to be written and we get we have a decision as to funds and funding and <coughs> you're not even gonna know the price. No. What are you looking for? You can't. Not here. 
Not in this room. The warm up. It's so close. Um, the, this, the, the, there's obviously a, a, a little bit of a rift here between uh, obviously what individuals in the, in the center of town um, feel that what costs should look like moving forward and what uh, the Water Commission feels is a stake in the ground in terms of hookups. Um, <coughs> there's got to be some meeting of the ways here. Um, Can I, I speak I, to I, that? Sure. sure, good. There's been a lot of discussion. I don't think we need to reiterate. I think we're closing in on a common proposal. That in fairway? I would say so. Yeah, yeah I think so we're the, really close. The cost right now estimated is like 278000 so maybe round it up to 300000 The uh, There's 39 hookups, not counting town hookups. Multiply that by 5000 it's about 195000 When we look at what we're looking at is a way of trying to bring the water district's contribution up to that level. Mm -hmm. It's 3500 bucks per house per hookup plus the assets of the district, which include cash, the land, and we think that's pretty much close to 195. So it'd be useful to know in concept whether you would support the idea of you know, making up the additional cost, which is 100,000 or so, to help make this merger happen and to provide the additional capacity necessary to provide fire protection center town because that additional fire protection is what makes the cost so much higher. Otherwise, it would be you know, closer to maybe 240,000, something like that. Uh, you'd take even more than that off. Yeah. It'd probably be more, probably 200, maybe even a little less than 200,000 if you took Without the fire, fire out. So yeah, the, what the water district and the individual households would pay would cover it if it weren't for fire protection. So we're looking for the town to do two things. One is make up the difference so that we can provide fire protection for the center of town and the renovated town hall and the library and everything else in, in the center of town. Mm -hmm. And to upfront the money because we're not going to be able to liquidate all of the water park district's assets at the onset of the project. And it might even take having some installment plan for all of the people to pay the hookup fee. They might not all be capable of putting it all out up front. Right. Sure. So that, I think that if the, if, the, if the finance committee would support that and if we can get our own act together, we could potentially get it together by a town meeting, but Brian's probably the best judge of this, so I'll, I'll leave it up to him. I mean, the, the one... Just, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. Let me just say something. Uh, there hasn't been much of an effort to market this to the townspeople. Yeah, the district and uh, water department commissioners are we're working together. And, you know, we are making progress, but you've got 1,100 people out there that know nothing about this, other than there was a merger. Two years ago, we talked about a merger. There was no facts given, no numbers, nothing. Although we're working on it, that's what's lacking, Paul, right now, and that's what we think needs to be done before we present it at a town meeting. Is to is to put some facts on paper and show people what we're talking about, the, the volumes, the demand uh, of each system, the supply that's available, what it looks like today and in the future, and, and to, to convince people that this is a good thing, that we need to do this. We don't have that today. To stand up at a town meeting and say, we want 200 or 300,000 to merge a system, people are gonna say, well, what are you doing? That's gonna affect my water on uh, Christian Lane because you haven't showed me the impact of that. We haven't done any of that. I think we need to do our homework to, to present something, a marketing plan to the townspeople, not just the district and not just the water department, to the town, because it involves more than just these two agencies. So there was, and, a, there was a conversation about whether having a information. Well, we're still, we're still talking about that, but. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. But some of the other things that we want to present at that information meeting may not happen in time, so, uh, and I'm not sure we're ready to just talk about water at information meeting. We're trying to schedule, uh, I don't know if it's possible, but uh, that and also the, the funding mechanism, yeah, 
I hear what you're saying. We, we need to set up a process to do that, how to get credits in. Uh, I think, you know, I'm not going to put words in Brian's mouth, but I think we, we need, the town needs to think about how that's going to work to set up that process. It's not going to happen in one day. You need some mechanism well, it's true. and some procedure to, right. to, to do right. that. Right. And maybe that should be part of what we're presenting to the town to let them know these people are contributing and it's not affecting really the tax rate or if it's affecting the tax rate, how much is it? Uh, I also hear discussion of water rates. Maybe we should increase water rates to pay for, them, for some of that increase instead of the town putting money in a budget. These are all wow. things that I think still need to be discussed <clears throat> and presented and, and I don't And going along with the fact that the, you're talking about 40 people and then you have other people that don't have access to town water right. and they're not going to get it. Right. And that's, I mean, you have to sell it to them. Right. Well, you got 40 on <coughs> one and you got, what, 160 or whatever on the other? Uh, 360. 360. Okay, 360 on the other. So that leaves, what, 800 without yeah. any? Yeah. So they, well, it's so. true. It, it's true. But historically, Wheatley has always come up to bat when right. someone you got to sell it. But you got to sell it on town floor. There's, People, there's, there's no question. Um, conceptually, I, I, I think the path that you guys are going down sounds like it's it's going to work. Um, I, 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 I mean, we haven't discussed it here, but it seems um, that just taking into consideration that there is equity there, that uh, there is a need and that you can meld um, those two. It seems like the answer is coming. It just, it, it's clear, as Fred said, there is, first of all, the hard numbers are, are not here yet, and we would need the hard numbers to get back of it or not. And then uh, on top of that, the education, again, is for the entire town to understand why this need exists now and that there is there is a time issue so that the I, clock ticks yeah so i think the thing that would be useful would be to get a sense of the finance committee about what approach you would support to finance this because i'm going to get that so you get a number well but, but i'm saying you we're giving you some rough numbers but <coughs> well, if we're not going to bring it now we can yeah. at least get a sense of whether we're on the right track so we don't want to come back with a proposal that you're going to reject. We want to get your input now before we get a final proposal. But right now, the difference between what the, what the assets of the water district and the contributions for hookups will pay for, we could pay for our own water in our own merger. The only difference that we can't make up is what it will take to provide fire protection. And given what's been invested in the new town, in the town hall, right. Right. and you have the library and the Smythe house, and you've got you know, and that other thing, the church, that fire protection is um, the pressure and the amount of water, or are we talking about and the volume of water? It's are you talking change. about putting hydrants in? Yeah, there'd be one, two, three more installed. One, yeah. they're looking probably one somewhere in front of the church, one by the library, and then we'd have to put one at the end of the line on Hayden Door Road. Bigger pump, bigger generator, bigger that, building. Would that Why increase the size of the pipe going through the center of town? No, you using mean? the using the existing main, the eight inch existing main. Yeah. Okay. And the number was somewhere between sixty and a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, you said, you say roughly a hundred thousand right now for the purpose of argument. Yeah, right. and, but, but that would that, be that, for that's fire protection. Nice, it though. wouldn't. That hundred thousand right. isn't really providing water to the center of town for drinking water. That would be covered by the hookup fees and the assets yeah. of the water district. No. But yeah, I understand, we're but talking really only about fire protection. But because because what I I use numbers all day long, yeah. and I thought I heard you say two hundred and sixty, but you were rounding it's up to two, three hundred. Two hundred and seventy-eight is the number that I oh, have okay. here. But yeah. if you round it to three hundred, okay. Keep it so round number, eighty to hundred thousand. Our contribution would be about two hundred thousand from the district. Right. Okay. And that leaves about a hundred thousand as a gap, and so. The, you know, the question of whether you would rather see 
water rates go up or whether you'd rather see the town pay it, that's useful for us to hear now so that we can come to you with a proposal because we're only going to get this through town meeting if we have full support of all the boards and all the commissions. I find it hard to believe at this juncture that we're going to have all that information together. I support everything that right. it might doing. it might be the next town meeting. Exactly. Right? And so but, I, but your input now is helpful. Yep, and I would I would say it's an enterprise fund right now. So if the town needs to fund it and the enterprise fund pays it pays back, back, that's my then interpretation. That's, then that's that's fine. I mean all we ever wanted with this enterprise fund was being self sustaining. And having this this district being part of that would be the same would be the same thing. So I don't think anybody I, I think selling it the way that the town supporting it and financing $100,000 to get this done is the wrong way to do it. I think by saying that the Enterprise Fund, okay, this group, we are going to, the town can, as the umbrella over all this, right. can finance $100,000 and the Enterprise Fund is going to pay that, the town back, that $100,000 is the way that it, it should be, yeah. it should be sold. I don't think that anybody here is willing to say, we're going to give you $100,000 to close the gap. That's not going to happen because there's too many people out there that do not have access to this water. Why would they? If there's been emergency situations where the town has stood up and those people without access to the water have paid the bill to finance the water department or the enterprise fund as we, as we turned it over to. But right now, having the town pay that bill, I would say what I know, what I know right now is the wrong thing to do. Well, I just will point out that we in the center pay, paid for that district down there too, as well as the people who don't have water now. And we're not asking people to pay for our water. We are saying that since we're putting this together, this merger, why not also include enough capacity so that the, the Waitley Inn doesn't have to burn to the ground next time? Or that the town hall that we just renovated that doesn't have sprinklers actually has some hope of some fire protection? That's what we're asking the town for, is for the well, fire protection, to, not the water for us to drink in our house. We had this discussion over the town hall when we were talking about a $4 million renovation that we don't have any fire suppression in there, and there wasn't a lot of people that were too concerned about it. Now all of a sudden, we're concerned about fire suppression. We're, we're putting $1.3 $1.4 million into a town hall that doesn't, that doesn't have sprinklers in it. You know, we're going to have a fire hydrant out in front. So, uh, you know, we're, if we're hanging our hat on fire suppression for individual households, then I would say that that district or that enterprise fund should be the one that's funding it and paying for it. Yeah, I don't think that we're interested in it just for the households. The thought was you have the church, you have the Waitley Inn, you have the town hall, you have the post office, you have the library, you have the Smythe House. You have a lot of town assets in, in, in the center of town. And how many times would you be sitting here right now if you didn't have a problem with that water district? Right now, we can pay to solve our problem with the water district. That's what I'm saying. We can figure that out ourselves. The question is, do you want us you to... You can't figure it out yourself without coming into the water district, our enterprise fund. Is that correct or no? I mean, it can continue the way it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's not... A, a it's not ideal. It's not idea, right? Yeah, so, so, so you know, we, we sort of entered this equation thinking it's not ideal for us to operate as a private water district. It's also not ideal to not have fire protection in the center of town. Mm -hmm. So, is there a win-win here? You know, is it feasible to su to suggest that as we talk about merging the water district because it's not ideal the way it is now, or the water? I can't remember the words, but the private water system, then, and the town could use, I mean, most people are pretty on board with having fire protection in the center of town. If we can solve both those problems, can we come up with a, a model that does that? Um, and that, that's kind of what we're asking. Is it, is, is, the, is it a reasonable argument to, to suggest that? And if it's not a reasonable argument, then we can continue the way we are. It's not ideal, but and it can happen. And it's it's just over this closing this gap. And I don't want to. I, I, if I came across as saying that hundred thousand dollars is the responsibility of the thirty nine users, that's not what I mean. Yeah. What I'm saying is it's the enterprise fund, the users of this of this water of the enterprise fund, which 
there are quite a few people, and I, I know you're throwing numbers out there. I don't know what it is. We have 800 households in, in, yeah, in Waverly, and we have, you know, the people, the, the users should be paying for it. Let me ask you, um, when they put in, when the when they went in on the east side of town, were hydrants put in on the east side of town? Are there hydrants going down? Where are you talking? The what? I don't know where you're talking. Just say yes. yes. Just say yes. Yeah. The new, no, yeah, the new like stuff. Like Pine's Edge. Pine's the development. Plains. <coughs> Any place we put water main water so it initially went in. Do we? We have hydrants. Do we yeah. also put hydrants in? Yeah, you have to. Okay. Yeah. And who pays for who pays for those hydrants? Who has paid for the hydrants wherever you put them in on? The town did, and then now they're part of the enterprise. It's all yeah. part of the enterprise. I was sitting around then. So <laughs> it's part of the I don't, I, don't quite, I don't quite understand the enterprise bond, and I just want to kind of make sure that I understand what you're saying. The water district separate from the town. Right. So the water district separate from the town. Right. And the water district separated from the town after we created a water district. Like, like uh, after uh, the system went in. Yeah, no, right. it's in operation. It did it happen at the after same time? Yeah, it, it was paid off. Once it was paid off after 20 years. All right, so the, so you put in a water system for yes. the crisis that happened around the, the yeah, fertilizer. Right. And then after it was paid off, you created an enterprise. Yes. yes. Okay, so that, that, that water district was paid for by the town. Yes. Is that right? So all the individuals in town paid for that to solve that problem. Yes, correct. And now, because there's a, there's an enterprise fund, it's a different equation. No, that's why they wanted the enterprise fund to be self-sufficient. No, but she said, yeah, I now that we have a need saying. in the center of town. Oh, okay. we're not we're not seeing it the same way because we have an enterprise fund. Like I don't I don't. I mean, I, I haven't been here long, so I don't know the history of all this, but it doesn't, it, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. That, that, there, well, that, was, one, that, was, one, that was one of the, the, the tough decisions was, okay, we now have this, are you self-sustainable? Because there are people out there that saying, why is the town supporting this that not all the people are getting the benefit of? And that was, that was the difficult, I thought, was a difficult part of having this enterprise fund. On paper, it all made sense. Mm -hmm. As long as all the fees and everything made sense. But were they able to sustain it themselves by the small number of users without, you know, putting putting water is something that, you know, the price of gasoline. Right, right. You know? And so, but and it's worked out that it has. Yeah, uh, uh, not 100%. You know? the, I mean, the town the is spot. still... Close, though. Yeah, but you can't get close. We, you know, I mean, they had a magnesium problem. They had a, the yeah. bank was falling down. Then they had a magnesium. No, there's we, the town is still. So we're the town is that's still the umbrella that's supporting instead of a water district. Right. Let me just let me say something. What I let's I'm going to simplify this as best I can. You're basically looking for 300. The town is going to have to go out and borrow. Three hundred thousand dollars to get this thing off the ground. You are basically going to pay the town back two hundred thousand dollars with your hookups and your sale of assets and whatever. What you're looking for is the town to pay the hundred thousand dollar balance to have fire protection in the center of town. That is. That's it in a nutshell. No. No. There's more to it than that, in my estimation. Mm -hmm. That will get you the water there. But that is not giving you the protection. Do we? If we have to put in fire suppressant, put in what was the number we had on the town hall that we eliminated because we didn't have water? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is we're not going to have a sprinkler system. We're going to have a hydrant out front. That's another hundred thousand dollars. At least that though. to put in these in the town building. Well, oh, no, but, not, have them. but right now you don't have enough pressure to we're even going, fight a fire. We're not going to put them in. No, okay. not going to put them in. By yeah. fire, so I, I think it's just a function to fight of pressure the fire if it from the hydrant. Out. Right now you can't get enough water there to put out a fire if they catch fire. Well, it's a timing issue. I do it. There is water, just you've got to wait for the water to come, I guess. So it's a timing yeah. issue. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what the so, way the so in burn. In burn. Burn. I, I watched the way the in burn, and I watched how the fire department got a leg up on it, yeah. and then they ran out of water, and they waited for the truck to show up. 
and the whole thing went right back up again, and they fought it up and down all night long. That you're not going to save the, the town hall if it catches fire. No, no. Well, there's not unless you can get enough water pressure and get there early and put it out. Yeah. I'm not going to. I'm. I'm not disputing. I will not yeah. dispute that. That's that's been since we've been talking about the town hall. Well, you know, renovation. I'm, I'm, I'm basically in favor of this plan, but I do not think it. There's enough. Uh, time right now, <coughs> enough information and enough and sort of general information. You know, we know about it, but the general public doesn't know about it. It's and it was, to run it. and it's going to be a tough sell. Yeah. Yeah. And Wayne, I would say, what is the impact that it's going to have on the current people who are involved in, in who are being served right now on the enterprise fund? No, you know, it won't affect them at all. Why not? If, yeah, no, no, I'm saying that if they're well, the way I look at it is um, the users pay for it. There's a hundred thousand dollars that needs to be paid back to the rates, town. Rates will have to go up. Rates are well, going to have to go up. But you're not looking to to pay the hundred thousand dollars for the fire hydrants and the fire protection with the enterprise fund, are you? Joe is. Joe, Joe, is. Joe is. The rest of them are the rest of them. We haven't talked Wayne about said that. It's, it's, it's a must. Talked about what's that? That you have to put hydrants in. Yeah, they're supposed to be every. But the hydrants are only a small fraction of the cost, the yeah. extra cost. It's yeah. the pump, oh, it's, fire it's the generator, and it's the building to house it. That's where most of the cost yeah, is. Yeah, the, the hydrants, hydrants themselves. Yeah, I think it's about what's. But it, isn't that all built in? If you're going to put a hydrant in, you're going to have the pressure and you're going to have the capacity and all those kind of things. Well, not necessarily. The city of Northampton put them in and they don't have. You can't hook up to them. Yeah, no. Oh, nice. They're just, they're, they're just there to vent out the They're there for the dogs. No, yeah, they're, they're there to vent out the air. Find the pump on the truck. Yeah. Can, can I just ask, though, like, like, I mean, I can hear you saying, you know, this it makes sense, like, you know, the $100,000 is an issue in terms of whether it's in the enterprise fund or whether the town pays for it in terms of sort of Fire framing protection. it in the context of, of, you know, sort of good stewardship given what happened previously historically and supporting the the uh, other individuals who needed water and the issue around fire. But can I just sort of like hear from each of you? Would you say, yeah, this is like something we should go forward with, or no, this seems crazy. Like, why would we bother? Why would we spend a hundred thousand dollars on that? I'm just curious, like if where everyone sits. That's something we want to discuss for months or so. Yeah, I think in general, in conceptually, I would think that we would feel that, yeah, we have to continue we down do this it. road. We don't have any choice, okay? Yeah. I mean, we just have to. Are the numbers going to look downstream the way you think they might look today? Probably not. So at that point in time is when we do, when we have the refinement of this recommendation that we give to the town. We don't say yes or no. All we say is we, we tell them that we recommend to the town. We think the town should pass this. Yeah, but or I think, think the, the recommendation from the finance committee is powerful. Right, right. So that's what everybody keeps saying, yeah. but that, that doesn't mean <laughs> that's, that's, it's it's not, 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 yeah. it doesn't. In reality, it doesn't mean much. Yeah, but people if do what they, they want to do. The question about how it affects the people who are currently in the water department is that aside from the hundred thousand, which is unresolved, it actually increases the base of people paying. And so it will increase the amount of money going into the enterprise fund. The rate at which it accumulates will increase. So it shouldn't have a negative impact on those folks, aside from this question of who pays 100000 Exactly. And I think, that's, I think that's the big question. Because what you just said makes sense if the town's paying the show. If the town doesn't pay it, then it does affect because the water rates are going to go up to compensate for the 100000 Yeah. So, I mean... You know, based on what we've talked about, when we put this enterprise fund together, was how does it sustain itself? You know, and, and we can split hairs. Of, you know, I, you know, I can argue all sorts of sides, and I know you guys are intelligent. You can do the same thing. But I'm just looking. Here's the users. What is fair? What What is fair? Well, uh, uh, I, I, I want to mention also. You talk about the town buildings that are there. They will get fire protection. So will all the homes that don't have it now, mm -hmm. which means that their homeowners insurance should be going down by proximity to hydrants. No. 
at least peace of mind and the fact that they now have access sure. that they got greater fire protection as well so it's not just a benefit for the town of the fire protection it's the entire district gets right. yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, I just want to make sure that I understand it correctly and I want to make sure that everybody understands if it's the same way um, if you know if, some, if somehow things went, got voted down the, the hundred thousand dollar difference you could go ahead you could take care of your water you could merge you'd have a bunch of hydrants maybe in those same locations but they would not be useful in fighting a fire is that and because you would have to put the pirates in, but they wouldn't necessarily have the pressure and the volume that you need to fight the fire. So what you're proposing does give a benefit to the town and even to the people who are not in either district in the sense that they have a stake in the town hall. So, sure. so, so somewhere in here, I think they're, they're can be an argument that there's the good of the town. How much of that is it? Can we can we be can we meet them halfway? Can we uh, aim for uh, half of that gap to be filled in by the enterprise fund after the merger? I mean, it, it seems like like there's there's some room there. Like I think everybody seems to recognize that there is some benefit to the town, regardless <coughs> whether you're in the water district or not, to this plan. Yeah. And if part of that, you know. You know, meeting that gap at whatever fraction of the way might mean that people who are on the water are paying more than people who are not. Well, <laughs> the opposites happen for a long time. So I, I, there might be a little bit of, uh, I don't know, justice might not be the right word, but there might be a little bit of justice there that people who have maybe uh, gotten more benefit out of the water system might be putting a little bit more into something that benefits everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think I have a problem with that either and I don't know what the okay. right where the right you know meeting people uh, on that hundred thousand dollar gap is yeah. uh, until you can put your like until you can put the money on the table and put the um, blocks together I, I, yeah. it's not gonna work it's not gonna work yeah. for us I, I it's but, all about money it's all that, that's what we do could, they could be what I'm they trying could to, be I'm but I mean I get the gap you so, have to come up with it and say right. where it's at and then right. let the people no, make a decision but what I'm trying to say <clears throat> is is it's we need. We just need a, a more, uh, more information. a more well-defined yeah. path forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. But do you feel like you got tonight at least some sense of the various boards? I'm here for the select board mm -hmm. and many finance committee members here. Do you have some sense now of what mm -hmm. it might take to get a plan that we can sell to the town and get enough support to really make it happen? I doubt that will happen for the April town meeting. Yeah, no, I think we've, we felt pretty sure that we didn't have enough details. We don't even have, we don't even have concrete numbers, so we can't put something oh, okay. to the town hall without concrete numbers. That was clear. Okay. But this seemed like an opportunity, and Brian had suggested it might be an opportunity to just have a broad discussion about what we're thinking and how we're framing it, right. and what we see as the benefits and the, and the issues that need to be kind of in the conversation. Yeah, and yeah. When, you, when we're excuse me, when we're talking hydrants, you, you have two on that line now. Two or more. Two, three, eight, eight. Three. Three. Eight, eight, eight. Three. So is one at each end and where's the other one? Right right, right, right in the middle, middle right, right in front of the right in front of the Whiteley Inn. Yeah. That's where it is now. Yeah. The hydrant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all you're talking is putting in I asked you if you're going to change the size of the line. You said no. Oh. So the line is staying the same. Yeah. And you're just going to tap in and put in a couple more hydrants. Yep. Okay. That's different than what you were trying to explain. Put hydrants in the center of town. There is one right dead center in the center of town right now, right in front of the way to the end. But it's not the hydrants that are the cost. It's the pump to get okay. the water the through the hydrant. That's you. You, yeah, were, you were saying you were going to be putting in hydrants. I okay. you were yeah. saying three more hydrants. Well, well, three more hydrants. But the big the hydrants the hydrants is somewhere between six to seven thousand dollars a piece to install. Okay. The big cost to get the thousand gallons a minute out of the hydrants is believe it or not, it's not so much the pump, it's the generator. The pump, yeah, brings the price up some, but the big jump is the cost of the generator to run 
the bigger electric motor for the bigger pump. And that will be located where? We're looking at putting everything just north, north of the cemetery, yeah. across from the center so, school. So now we're going to close. You're not talking about yeah. changing any of the pumps at your actual pump station? Nope. On the supply? Nope. You're just saying that you're using it to boost it from there? Yeah, it's, it's, what it comes down to is the tank, our water, the town's water storage tank is too low to supply pressure to the center of town to gravity feed it. So you gotta put a pump in or something. Yeah. You you what you're looking at is putting like a booster station in like at the bottom of Westbrook. Yeah. <coughs> Can that help you a better understanding? Yeah. yeah, I mean the system is there. Mm -hmm. I can see it. It's not that they're putting in a pump to supply water. It's there to increase the pressure. The pressure of the water. Okay. And that like we were saying before, it's probably going to blow out a bunch of houses still. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why we're going yeah, for that. The engineer says that a thousand gallons a minute at the 73 pounds they'll be pushing through, it should be fine. That's what Nicholas says you yeah. run about now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think the takeaway from this conversation and from these groups here, from our group here, is that, you, you know, there's, 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 the, uh, there's the letter of the law and there's the spirit of the law. <coughs> And from a spirit perspective, we're in back here. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> when it comes down to hashing out fine points downstream, it'll happen. Uh, exactly how it will happen is very hard for right. anyone. I, I'm not entirely sure I agree with that, so that's why I just want okay. to do this a little bit further just to make sure, because you asked if we had enough to go on. Sure. Is if we come back and report to the committee, that this only works if the enterprise fund pays back the town $100,000 to make it work, and then the commissioners say, no, we don't want to do that. Then it, then we either go, it's either dead and dead, or we go with the lower capacity, which is where we started. The district didn't have any interest in fire protection. We didn't ask for it. It was when the fire chief said, listen, how can you put this together and not take fire into account? So we invited him into the conversation and said, well, what do you need? How much more will it cost? Mm -hmm. That's where we end up with this $100,000 gap. So the question is, is that if you insist that we go with the enterprise fund and that kills the fire protection and we just go with a merger that only deals with water, drinking water, are you okay with that? Yeah. Well, I would. I, I don't. I don't you're, you're got, we're, we're still. You come in. We don't have that's, anything that's not in front of us. Two sixty. Yeah. But yeah. 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 yes. Yeah. If it's all paid for in in the 40, 39 users, what what is what does it matter to anybody else? I guess. So, so what I'm good. saying, are you okay with the idea that there won't be fire protection? That will go. I think no. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. That's a select board. That's not our decision. That's a fine decision. Right, but I mean, I think that is that is the final question, right? So, is 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 this an opportunity to get fire protection in the center of town? It is, and it is. should we do that? No doubt about it. It is, and um, how we go it? about doing it? How we go about doing it? And um, do I think you, you should be the one and only backer of that process? Personally, no. Yeah. But does anybody have a say other than the water commissioners about whether they use the enterprise fund to pay for that extra hundred thousand? Does anybody can anybody force them? If they say no, is it no. are we done? Yeah. So, so no basically water commissioners are elected officials. Yeah. yeah. We, we, well, we, if they, different kind if of the enterprise, enterprise fund makes more so money, they, they come to yeah. us. The what? If the Thanks. enterprise fund is going to need any Thanks. more money to do that, they're going to come <coughs> to us. That's right. The right. Yeah. The um, the. The commissioners um, are elected officials, so um, they only report to the electorate, which is the town. But if they, through the enterprise fund, would need more 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 money from the enterprise group, it would have to come to us to give a recommendation to the town as to whether the town should back that process. So, 
Put them in a pot and stir them up. Man, you you just confuse them even more. Yeah. I got no, no, I understand what you're saying. But that is the way it is. It is the way it is. We can't commit the water department to pay with their no. fund. So we're trying to figure out a workable plan, <clears throat> and it hasn't been easy. Well, you're trying, you're trying to move all the table and say no. You're looking for guarantees right now, and yeah. nobody can give you that. That's right. No, you know, I'm have, asking in concept. No, well, what do we do except they're not? Basically, you're saying that we got to, if we have to have a, a reason to be able to get by these current water commissioners, I would expect that the water commissioners would take a look at every possible avenue that they could, because that's their job. Right. And so they would come to the town and say, "This is what we need." And I'm not saying the enterprise fund is going to pay it back in two years. For three years, those are all the things that have to be looked at. That's why there, there is there's huge numbers to look at. Conceptually, yeah, it sounds like a plan. I think things can be worked out. You know, I may have my own opinion. Yeah. You know, but I think things can be worked out. If you're looking for guarantees right now, I mean, we've just wasted a lot of time. Guarantees, just a sense of the board, and I appreciate your input. Um, this yeah. may or may not work out. We'll see. I, I mean, does. should it, yes. we have water commissioners for the purpose of the benefit of the people in this town, all the people, not just some people? If they can't seem to come to the middle ground to make <coughs> taxpayers happy, then maybe the taxpayers need to vote them out next time around. I mean, that's just, that's their job. And uh, I'm sure they have, I'm sure they have their own side of the story. And, and if it's different than yours, um, it'd be good to hear that. But uh, right here and now, you got the spirit uh, of the situation in Magnum. But uh, that's about all we can do. And. You have to plead your case to the select board because uh, it's pretty much in, in their ballpark as to fire protection in the middle of town. So. Is this helpful? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. You want me to stick around so you can grill me about the concom budget while I'm here? No. No. So we already did. Now. All right. I already went past that. How many stamps are you going to use this year? That's <laughs> <laughs> no, good. good. I have a pilot no. now. No, I know. Really what? We have a filing cabinet now, so we can have an asset. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it's on the board or not. Yeah. You guys, How many guys are the best. No, not many are left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was all this recorded? Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, good. <laughs> All right, hey, you. Good night. I, I we'll think for what it's worth, I think it was very useful to hear different opinions on it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It was a good round. The more table. people they have on the system, the better off they are. But I mean, yeah. you can't just come and try and bring us together with, well, this is how it's going to work. It would have been not, nice to have the water commissioners. Yeah, here. well, you yeah. it would have been. I think that's. You don't have a sense of sure right the there. <laughs> I mean, I, to, the town. How, I want to know I'm how you merge them. What if, how, who, where, who decides? What do you mean, who decides? Um, it requires an act of special legislation. <coughs> the what? Uh, how do you decide? They can't just say, well, we want to be part of the special legislation. They were created by legislation. Town meeting. Town meeting. Town meeting. Town meeting. Because not that I think it won't, wouldn't happen, but I mean, how it happens. Oh, the water district is created by special legislation, so it takes special legislation to undo it, to transfer the assets. I think it was the last thought around here in Irving and Montague, I think, in 96. So it can be done. It's, it's yeah. It has to be done. Mm -hmm. All right. But next, they got to come up their reasons. Yeah, all right. Yeah. It's, for all, for many of those reasons, it's it's just not the time yet. It's uh, the timing is not here. Not good. Okay, Brian. Um, where do you want to take us now? Well, let's do. Well, additional funding requests for 2019. There's a handful of things. That I've received over the past weeks. This big, okay. this big page right here. It's the big page. Yeah. Okay. And let's start on the bottom. Miscellaneous funding requests. I got. When we talked about this, um, let's start at the bottom. The seventy-five hundred dollars. We talked about this 
touched on a little last time. Because the town's changing health insurance plans, it's required to share 25% of the savings, which we all know isn't real savings, but we need to provide that um, savings for the subscribers um, for Master and Law Chapter 3. The other one I received a letter from Frontier. This was, I don't know what the date is on that letter, but I got it probably this sometime this week. Um, and they're requesting $4,004 our share of a new tractor. I wanted to say John Deere tractor, but uh, that letter should be in your packet, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the tractor that we all saw in the that bond, you know, the list of, the list of items that they had right. in their bond. Yep. Um, well, they had two of them there. <coughs> they had a $80,000. This is a smaller of the two. Okay, so what's so wrong with this thing? Lower amount. Um, I don't know. I would have liked for them to discuss it at, when they were here. I didn't know that it was coming. I didn't know that it was coming until I got this letter. It was bought, used, the current one. It's pretty well beat. That was that was the eighty thousand dollar one. No, the small one. So that's. I think the eighty thousand. That's, that's not true. I thought that was bought used as well. I think. So one of them came from Love Park. Yeah. Eighty thousand dollar mower, the Toro mower, I bought for four thousand dollars from Love Park, um, with three thousand hours on it or something, and that was just because you know the wing mower that they had there and, and it just just didn't make sense to put money into that. Now they do have, they did have a John Deere diesel 445, a small garden tractor with a 60 inch mower on it and nothing else yeah, uh, that will probably last another 100 years. I think that's the one they're trying That's to what they're trying to John replace. John Deere 1025R sub subcompact utility. Tractor. Yeah, so that's a capital thing that they're looking to pass before the end of the year? Yep. Mm -hmm. They're looking for this to go on town meeting more. They need to tell me more. Too bad. So, I mean, I, I, I would I support that because... No, I wouldn't either. Not, no, not at all. Not at all. They bought a new pickup. That should have been a capital goal expense. Yeah, we, we've been behind the eight ball on them notifying us. This is typical. And we tell them that they've got to get it in on a capital planning and then they never did nothing. <clears throat> Until this year when they threw the bundle at us for the millions. And that isn't right because they haven't even sorted that out. I agree. I, 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 don't I would just that. table it. They put it through the channels like it's supposed to go, capital planning, and we'll get it next year. Agreed. Agreed. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Any comment? That's it. Is this a three out of four town vote item? It probably, it, I'm not sure, but it probably is. That must be all towns, isn't it? It's what? Yeah, they're all towns have to vote. They all have to all vote on it. They all have to vote, but three out of four, four. has it. Three out of four. Yes. And we've got to pay it anyway. And you've got to pay it anyway. If that's the case, we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, just to, let me back. Did you touch on the 250th committee? Uh, money. Fred's our representative to that committee. Fred, do you want to talk about that? Yeah, uh, the 250th anniversary committee, <coughs> after looking at budgets that came out of the Sunderland and Conway celebrations, are, it, it's hard to know exactly what the budget numbers are going to be three years out. But it looks to be about $60,000 total, and now that could be adjusted, could be adjusted significantly based on how much fundraising, private fundraising we do. Uh, I believe Sunderland, one of the towns did not do a lot of fundraising and the other did a lot. And we are hoping we're putting together 501c3. We hope to do some private, private fundraising to keep this cost down. But this would be the first of the th three years of $20,000 each year just as seed money for all the expenses that will come with the celebration in 2021. Uh, so they'll going be going big, right? What? Going big? <laughs> <laughs> going as big as we can. <laughs> You're going for 20, basically 20,000 a year? 20,000 a year this year and then the following two years. 
three. If we do, if we get, you know, good results in hitting up Yankee One Candle and some banks, some of this can come back. What did Conway do on their side? I don't have the numbers in front of me. That's the problem. Uh, they, I, I just, again, I, I don't, I know that, I believe that Conway did fundraising and came in, I think, under 60000 in net. They got a budget from the top, too. I just want yeah. to know what they I don't. I did. I don't have the numbers in front of me right now. I, but I thought it was. It was, it was yeah. close to that. It wasn't. Yeah. That, it, yeah. We were, I was surprised that it was not very different from something. But, but I don't remember the exact number either. But yeah, but it, it was, the, the sixty thousand is based on looking at both of their budgets yeah. and just guesstimating where we would likely need to come out. <coughs> but it it likely will not be very much more, and it should not be more at all. And more likely is I think that something might even come back if the fundraising works well. So what's the question here? There is no question. It was just no, an sure. overview of uh, how we're at this number, and now we know. Thanks, Fred. Um, so we'll move forward. By the way, let me just jump in. Our next meeting is when we will be uh, officially voting on everything for the um, for the warrant article, which is which, and that'll be next week. And the select board will vote by themselves, and fi um, and finance committee will do, do the same. And, and to, to, if I can, yeah, one more thing. I will try to have Conway and Sunderland numbers for next week. I'll see if I can. Yeah, that'd be good. good. That'd be good. Okay, Brian. So the last but last but not least is the town hall. <coughs> yep. The municipal, municipal building committee voted. Where's that? I yes, think you just have to look at the numbers. It's one page. It's one page and seven page. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. oh it's in the. Uh, I mean, I say that. It's in the Voted yesterday to request an additional um, $102,000 in funding for the town hall for four over ones. So, how it's broken down here additional anticipated change orders is $25,000, and then this add alternate one. The seventy-nine thousand that's listed there. So when the project was put out to bid, when the project was designed, it was designed as a whole. But when it was put out to bid, the front parking lot, front ramp, sidewalks, drainage out front was separated out into an ad alternate. So a contractor submitted a, a bid for the base project and for ad alternate one. When we received the bids, we had enough money to do the base project, but we didn't have enough money to do add alternate one, so we can't contract for what we, we don't have money for. Um, so we're going to wait and see how the municipal ADA grant panned out, and that didn't pan out at all. If you recall, there was some discussion, preliminary discussion in the winter time about seeking more money at that time before the grant. We knew about the grant. Um, how much was that grant? Off. Our uh, grant was about two hundred twenty-five thousand. So it was, it was a big grant. They ended up only having a million dollars in funding award. So, <coughs> so it, it was not awarded. So this is where we are today. Okay. Um, Put some some credit and, and down around the municipal building today. So, if you guys want to fill the details. Yeah, let me let me just speak about as, as being chair of the bill, municipal building committee. Uh, we've been waiting waiting for that that grant in early January and kind of watching our expenditures up up until now. And we, as you can see, what what change orders have been approved already. These are on top of the original grant with Westfield Construction. These were unforeseen conditions. Things changed that we didn't know about. 
Uh, we couldn't look under the floor to see what was going on. The walls needed to be supported, whatever. Uh, we had money to do that. As you can see, the 51931 is what we've, we've already committed to, to do with change orders. You know, that leaves us a balance of 2423, a small amount. But there's additional work has, has come up this past week that we weren't aware of because the contractor hasn't, is still working on the building, so there's some window repairs need to be done. Or the portico on the front needs some more uh, work. Uh, and also, he hasn't started the site work yet either, so. Uh, there could be some changes as a result of that. So that's what he's estimating at 25,100. Uh, that's kind of the, the, the minimum that we need to complete the, the project. Uh, other than the add alternate one is for the front parking lot, like Brian was saying. <coughs> uh, he's given us the price of the 71,800. Uh, I asked Keith a while ago what he thought of that price, whether it was reasonable, and whether he could do it for that price or less. Keith said no, <clears throat> he couldn't do it for that, because for one reason, he doesn't do sidewalks, he doesn't do concrete work. So you'd have to at least hire somebody to do concrete work. Uh, the parking lot, he would, he would do some of that, and, uh, and the, uh, the drainage improvements he would do. So but what, we're, what we're gaining in the, in the parking lot uh, by doing an improvement now is an additional five spaces. Uh, parking would be realigned to be perpendicular rather than angular or, or parallel now. So you're gonna get kind of a reconfigured parking lot with more spaces uh, striped that way so people know where to park. Uh, drainage, the drainage improvements are, right now, I don't know whoever, most of you, uh, come down Chestnut Plain after a rainstorm and you see water running down the side of the road. It's washing out people's properties. Well, one way to fix that is to uh, put a catch basin right at the, the edge of the driveway, the north side of the driveway, that would collect water on the street and also water from the town hall parking lot. Yeah. Right now, all that runs down the street. So where are you gonna go with that water? Is that just there is, there's a catch, No, there's catch basins further down. So where's the water the going? Street. It's gonna go into that catch, into that line. There's the sewer line that goes into the dingle. dingle. So all that is gonna be managed right. with, with a drainage improvement for the parking lot and also for the street. So Fred, so, um, can, when you look at uh, alternate one, if you were to separate front ramp railing, sidewalk, and step away from the parking lot, pavement, and spaces. How do you break those two up? As far as what? What do it cost? Yeah. Uh, 27, 27014 for the... Uh, well, plus, plus, a, plus a contingency amount, some in there. Yeah. So, so we're looking at, at uh, 30000 just for the ramp. And sidewalk, no, the ramp railings on the, on the ramp, and we have to connect the sidewalks from the from the front to the to the side of the building, or the, in front of the uh, post office boxes that are there. We need to build some of the sidewalk to connect that. And that is required, we've been told by the building inspector. Yep. He says you need two handicapped entrances to a building now, if you're remodeling, so, so at least that part would have to be done as, as part of that alternate one. We got a price from the contractor the other day of roughly thirty thousand dollars to do that. So why so, couldn't why couldn't we downstream we just do that and then downstream have Keith and the guys do the parking lot and drainage on their own because we're paying them anyway. Well, I, like I was saying, for the. Uh, Okay, you're looking at, at $40,000, $48,000. Keith is saying he can't do that for that price. Well, He's got a contract out for the sidewalk. No, we're taking the no, sidewalks no. out. No, 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 no. There's two sidewalks. There's This sidewalk is in front of the entire building. It goes from the post so office. That runs the down. It runs down, so it's going to connect it with the end line okay. with the bituminous sidewalks that are on both sides of that parking lot. So the contractor when he does the concrete work for the ramp in front of the town hall okay. connecting it to the back of the side of the town hall right 
that's he's not going to do the front side walk. The front side no. Why not? Because that's not in his price. Maybe he that changed was, his price. Well, then he all changed your, up they, here fifty two thousand. Because to, to do that sidewalk in the front of the town hall, he has to excavate the parking lot because the sidewalk is okay. coming out further and the grade is lower. Why do we need so, it? He's got to connect with the parking lot. Why do we need that sidewalk to be extended? Because of the ramp? No, it's, it's no. To, to make a continuous <laughs> sidewalk through the center of town, basically, I, I guess. It's, it's, for, it's, the it's for aesthetics. Well, part of it, I guess you could say that. It, 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 it sounds like a nice to have, not a, not a must have. Okay, but, but, and we never asked him for the the price of just that sidewalk in the front, or if you didn't do a sidewalk in the parking lot, well, I don't know what figure you want to use, half of that? I, I, I don't know, we're, we're, we're nitpicking each individual item of the ones what job. should be done. Yeah. Well, no, that's his job. He's telling well, us Fred, I mean, the bottom line is we've got a 1.4, 1.5 million, 1.4 million dollar project, and you're asking for $102,000 because it's unforeseen things that we didn't look at. So right. if we were that tight on our budget, shame on, you know, shame on us. Um, you know, I don't know how we don't, I don't know what our contingency was on this 1.4 million. Was the project actually dead nuts on 1.4 million? Or do we have a contingency of 10%, 15% or anything? Well, the, 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 the architect. Right, exactly. Yeah, What's wrong with that? It's a shame on us. Yeah. We're trying to force this thing in there right from the beginning. I knew it was going to come back. It happens every darn time. And we come back, it costs well, us more money do. every time. Just because we forced it in there. You know, this is, we can, we can talk about this. Just sign the bill, sign the check, and, and pay $102,000 because we're going to try to nitpick it and we're going to seem like a bunch of jerks for doing it but the bottom line is we should have known that it's going to be another hundred two hundred thousand dollars because there's going to be more that's going to come on to that before this project is done i can tell you that well no, I guarantee this, is, it. this is the final amount we, this is yeah, okay it won't exceed i'll, just sign, I'll just sign right here then. Okay, that's what that's we've, we've met it. we've told the contractor this is what we're doing he isn't starting anything until he hears from town meeting and I would hope not. if this goes on a warrant article uh, he won't do any of this work until uh, after town meeting. Oh, hundred thousand so. dollars, unbelievable. Hundred thousand dollars. Well, we've we seen we've seen his detail estimates of materials. Talk about getting windows over. Were yeah. windows part of this whole yeah. project? Now all of a sudden we get something we we forgot about. Well, the the repair is the sills. The windows. Got an answer for everything. Are you know that going in? in? Oh, that's uh, no that's baloney. No, it was assumed that the window sills would be adequate, but. Uh, looking at them now. Well, we're too deep into this thing right now. So like I said, so, support it and write a check for $102,000. What else are you going to do? You got you to try to cut $30,000 out of it or $20,000 out of this thing? Yeah, that's that's what you're talking about. If you if you you mandated for you know, for the twenty-seven or thirty thousand there, so you're talking an additional seventy-five is what it really is in question. 30. And that the third where we're mandated another thirty because of this ramp having right. to be in the front. Right. right. You know, I, I think one of the things that at As least the town on the sidewalk and, and that probably who knows, uh, because they're we're also working on the town's working on that other thing for the whole new downtown. New downtown, downtown, I mean, downtown, downtown, downtown park. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, I mean I I just I the parking lot looks, I mean, looks fun to It's me. not going to change. It's not going to change. The, parking, yeah. the, the grade's it's, not going to change. It's not going to change. And well, yeah, the grade will, it will be flatter, and it's going to be, the island in a, by the street is going to be narrower, so you can get parallel so, parking. Well, yeah, it won't look much different. It's still worth it. Fred, still worth it. It's if, you, if you recall the article in the Greenfield Recorder, they did a good job on it. By the, by the way, um, one of the uh, one of the takeaways from that article was that uh, there was no taxation right. to uh, to, uh, to pay for our new our newly refurbished old town hall. Um, I I kind of think that I, in that spirit, you'd like to keep going in that vein. So can CPA funds, even though that comes from taxation. Can CPA funds take care of any of this? 
Well, we're, we're, I think, too late for this fiscal year Probably. allocation of that. Right. And, and right. we should have done in January, which we were waiting for the ADA. Time, so. so therefore, uh, therefore, wouldn't you want to at least minimize the, the impact on taxation by looking at this final number and saying, well, look, we can whittle this down to 30 grand because the other 70 grand, we can do this downstream. We can, we can do this downstream, either Keith takes some of it or we can put it onto another year's budget and do it then. But right now, moving forward with the project, we can still pretty much hang on to the fact that we did a lot of this without hitting the taxpayer directly. Right. And, I, and I, I, I think that's an important part of it. Well, some of this would still come out of the Ryan is proposing the sixteen thousand out of the cell right. tower fund. Right, but there's still sixteen K so. in the old tower fund it, it, that would come that would if if this were to be funded, I would recommend sixteen thousand come out of that the remaining of the cell tower fund and the rest would probably be funded free cash. Would be my recommendation. But but what what we really need the decision is okay, the maximum is hundred two or if you feel that we shouldn't pay for the, the parking lot and sidewalk, then then you really need the, the 25 one, and you need 30,000 for that front handicap ramp. So you're looking at so you're looking at 55,100 versus 102. That's really the decision, or it needs to be made. 55k versus 102. So right. So you're not getting half. Um, That's because the, the difference will be in <clears throat> the amount they got to withhold for contingency is going to be embedded in that. Well, that's, yeah, that's for the parking lot contingency. Yeah. Right, right, right. I, I, I just uh, well, well, back to what we had. There is some contingency built in, I would say, with the in the twenty-five one. Yeah, yes, yeah. a little in there, but mm -hmm. and even with the front ramp. So. So it looks like either 52,000 or the 102,000. Right. So that's that's kind of that's kind of where it is, and I um, I don't I don't see us making a vote on this tonight, but um, we will have a definite answer as to our recommendation uh, next week. Um, but. Do you see any wisdom in that? You, you, you see, you see any wisdom in saying, you know, we're going to try to, we'll continue to try to minimize the tax, the hit on the tax base. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I some, some there, and then of course the decisions have to come in a, in a future is. To pay for the say the sidewalk and, and parking lot improvements, and whether that gets done or not, I, I guess pe people on the committee are looking at <coughs> completing this project. You know, it started six months ago, and I, I and people yeah. in town are saying, "When are you going to be done?" You know, it, it's a nuisance. Well, it's get, close. Get mail and well, stuff in the air. Close, but, but it's, and but let's get as, it done. So you know, you know, as far as doing all that road yes. stuff. You're a selectman. Those, those, the selectmen, you guys tell that's their job. Those guys what to do. They don't tell you what they want to do and don't do. Uh, I mean, to some extent, you know, they tell, tell you what needs to be done, but they report to you guys. So, um, I'm losing track. What do you, what, I, I lost no, the, the parking lot. The we're, we're talking about the parking lot okay. and, and, and the drainage and all that stuff. You know, we have a, a very competent uh, public works group right. um, who do some really good stuff. And um, I guess the question is, and well, they when you use that, then what, what isn't getting done that, you know, they're not just saying it right here, it's not doing anything. So what doesn't get what doesn't get done if we basically hire them as the contractor? That's, um, well, you, that's you'd have to put the, I don't know. You have to put the sidewalk concrete work in Keith's budget as a as a bid item or, or 
Contract right has a dead end both directions anyways. There is no sidewalk going from there is no. from north of the post office to south of the town hall. There isn't. No. Okay, so we're talking about putting one in. This other project is going along. Putting sidewalks into all the rest of the top. Well, what about that little section? Why can't that project do that section? <laughs> I don't know where that stands. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what you're trying to say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long term project. That's, that's, that's for another that's day. So that, that may not even happen for 20 or 25 years. Well, you're we talking about the water project. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Speed it up. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All right. All right. So, um, <clears throat> Fred, thanks a lot. So, so, so if you go in the 55, like I'm saying, the well, 16 would come from the uh, special revenue account, and then right. another one 40 from free cash, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not looking at a change in the tax levy. You're looking at a difference in the free cash. Right. At the end of the day. It comes right. from taxation. Right. 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 Dollars. Right. I know. I know. But no, dollars from taxation. Right. That's right. that's where we were with that project. project. Right? Are you good? Going on two hours, so. Okay. Um, <laughs> the fans out of coffee. Let's go. 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 Let's no, no, this is this is if everything were funded. These oh. are all the decisions we got to make. Okay. These are all the decisions we got to hold that's on to right. the and next meeting. That's for next meeting. Oh, for next meeting. Yeah. 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 For next meeting, sure. we'll, we'll vote the whole thing. Okay. Um, are there any other thoughts, comments? I have a question. Okay. <clears throat> Does Waitley participate in reducing people over 65 taxes? Yes. We will uh, strongly. No, no. I know it's it. I know what it is. You mean I senior work off I don't know. Yeah, there's something yeah. called the senior work off. No, 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 it's not a senior work no, off. No, 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 no. This is a state. It's a it's state, state law. Thing. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Joyce is living by herself and she's sixty five or older. She wants to stay in her house, but she can't afford her taxes up to half she doesn't have to pay. Based on income. Based on income. We have that, I think. Yeah, we have that. What do you think? The guy should know. Uh, he does. He I somebody he's asked on me. Assessor. I think we do. Uh, we, we, the we have that, but there's a limit. It, it's not an arbitrary yeah. amount. Uh, it's I know we have my income. mother. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I think you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Between 90 yeah. and 100. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the game went past by the way. I gave her a free ride. Just say 10% of the people in town did it. What would be the impact on the tax rate? In a small town, it would kill a small town. Yeah. Well, I think there's also Especially an old small town. I know there's a limit, but it's still, I'm not going to get the money until uh, down the road. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty low threshold. They want to change it. That's how I know about it. Okay. Well, that's how, that, to, I'm 65. So I'll that's how I know about. That's how I know about it because they're talking about changing the limits. Mm -hmm. They want to change the elderly exemption. The state. <clears throat> it's um, it's geared. It's, it's income based, 65 and over. And up to half the best <coughs> value, I think. Cool. Very good. Are you good? I am good. I just motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. A long time. Kill us. All right. All right. See you next week. Next week.